guys start off 3-0, and changes the perception of Cock County football, and, and that's big. And I know y'all got to feed off of that and keep keep building on that, like your coaches say, from a, a media perspe perspective. I've seen Cock County at its worst. And uh, to see from afar, I live in Knoxville, to see y'all come about and start 3-0, and I know y'all got a lot of people inspired in this community. So speaking of that community, they, they voted in droves this week for a young man who had 19 carries, 197 yards, and two touchdowns. Our player of the week, London Shelton. Yeah. We got this nice little matte black finish, reflective gold sticker, five-star preps for London to keep, put on his mantle or on the front of his car, whatever he wants to do with it. But I know y'all are going to take it as a team award, lime and blocking for him and, and everybody doing that. So congratulations, London, and uh, Cock County football. Everybody give yourself a round of applause. What'd you say? All right, London, big honor for, for you guys, 3-0, and oh, and you, you played a big part in that with 197 yards and two touchdowns in that week three win. How much fun has it been so far at the start of this season for Cock County football to, to be undefeated? Uh, it's, it's been really great. I think we finally learned to play as a team, and everybody's not being so selfish. Like, my freshman year we started out, it was usually all about one player, a duo or something, but now everybody's just learning to play as a team, and it's really fun when you win and everybody's happy, not just one person. Did you come into high school, you know, set with the, your sight set on being a running back, or how did that happen? Yeah, I came in as run, being a running back, and I was gonna, I was planning on starting my freshman year. I was gonna work as hard as I could. Get to, better with TD. Yeah, to, and now to see you with, you know, nearly 200 yards in that game. How hard have you had to work and, and work out, and train to, to get to this point? Yeah, a lot of hours after practice. Uh, I always run around my blocker at my house two or three times, and my dad's always pushed me hard as he can too to help me. A lot of my teammates too, like Dylan and Ryder on my line, they helped me too. Last thing, how, how excited is this community right now? I know y'all are in a bye week and uh, you're gonna get some rest this week, but to be three and oh and playing so well, how, how excited is Newport right now? Everybody, I like, can't even walk through the hallways in school when everybody's ready for the next game. It's just, it's a lot of fun when you have the community behind your back because three and oh and we're three and oh for two years in a row. And do big things. All right, Caleb, I hear you talking to the guys. They're three and oh, but still some big tests coming up. Um, how key is this bye week right now as far as Kind of drinking in what you've done so far, taking a breather, and then attacking the rest of the season. Yeah, you know we're we're excited about it this time. You know, last year we had the bye week the same time we came out flat, uh, and really just kind of took a downward spiral last year for us. And uh, you know, it, it's kind of been the same story since I've been here for the last five years. We've been one or two games away from the playoffs. Mm -hmm. and we've been there. We've been on the break. Uh, you know, hopefully our and our guys are really excited about this year and got a different outlook so uh, excited to see how they come playing out of the bye week we know we got a big test coming in uh, in two weeks so uh, you know we're excited about it but you know hopefully we can carry some momentum into the second half with london off to a fast start this year running the football and he's our player of the week did you see this coming did you see it maybe in the spring of him having such an impact right away this year yeah you know we kind of seen a little bit of it last year mm -hmm. uh, you know raheem meeks was one of our starters and uh, broke his foot actually about this time last year uh, and, and missed the rest of the season. So London had to fill in and then Joseph Jones got banged up who was our starter and uh, London ended up playing quite a bit last year for us at uh, running back which wasn't the plan at all. We planned on playing him more at, at linebacker and uh, he stepped in and did a great job. Had some big runs for us last year and then uh, you know throughout the spring throughout our fall scrimmages he's ran the ball really hard taking care of it uh, and that's all we can ask him to do and he's done a really good job. So uh, it, it's good to see him break out and, and pick up some positive yards and do some positive things. For you, I'm sure when you came here, you had certain aspirations and goals for this for this community, for this football team. Are you starting to see the signs now with with you know good start last year, good start this year that you're getting close? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, we it was really kind of a, a little rocky start for us, and, and we were a little bit behind. Uh, but you know, I, I feel like we're in, we're in a pretty good shape right now. Uh, we we still got to get some more kids to come out. Of course, mm -hmm. everybody's fighting that now with numbers and things like that. But um, you know, our our expectations has always been to be one and zero at the end of each week and and try to find a way to scratch and get into the playoffs. And uh, we've been close a number of times. And uh, you know, we're hoping this year that it kind of carries over and carries on into it, and we we can finally get there. And uh, you know, but our uh, the response from the community and the kids has just been you know phenomenal for me. Um, you know, we got a lot of people that's rallying around and supporting the kids and that's what it's about and uh, just happy for them I'm happy for the community that we can we can go out and win some ball games on Friday nights and give them something to brag about on Saturday mornings